frozen to the bone There's darkness in your soul Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about Madam Web because technically this fits into the Sony shared universe thing. And I know it's, uh, again, another divisive kind of trailer from Sony. You know, uh, Morbius, when I came out, though, I think a lot of people were in unison that that didn't look very good. And I think same thing with Craven, although Craven a little bit more divisiveness. I think some people kind of like some of the stuff they saw. Um, when I had heard about the footage at CinemaCon, I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I can't wait. And then when I saw the footage, I was like, oh, man, it doesn't look like it's shot very well, in my personal opinion, uh, for Craven. Um, but, uh, you know, and I didn't see Morbius in the theater, uh, and I probably won't go see Craven in the theater, which is a shame because Craven is my absolute favorite Spider Man villain. Um, I know I run the Venom vlog, but Craven is my favorite. And I think they did a really great interpretation of him on the Spider Man 2 video game which more of those videos will upload soon. Um, but yeah, I love what they did with Kraven in that game, but I'm also critical of what they did with Venom in that game. Whereas in the movie universe, I kind of like what they're doing with Venom, uh, but I'm critical of what they're doing with Kraven, at least what I've seen so far. So unless more trailers come out next year that like, you know, entice me and get me to go, um, I probably will skip that in a the theater. But Madam Web, I'm actually curious about. Uh, ever since they announced it at first, I was kind of like, I mean, yeah, you could do a Madam Web movie, but really what's the point, you know, and, and what story would they tell? And I'm intrigued by this story, even though some of the dialogue in the trailer feels like it was written by an AI, um, you know, <laughs> and I already see people online making fun of it about the line like, oh, you know, that I knew him. He knew my mother when she died and when she was investigating spiders in the Amazon or whatever. And it's like such a bad line of dialogue. Um, but who knows? It could be a chopped up line. It could be from like a longer paragraph or, or monologue and it's just chopped up for the trailer. Or it could be, you know, exactly what's in the movie. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when the movie comes out. But it was, a, it was a neat trailer because it's like, okay, you have someone who has clairvoyancy. You know, you have Cassie or Cassandra uh, who is learning that she is the, you know going to be the Madam Web. They're going to probably bring in the spider totem thing, which is something in the comics when they introduced it. I think Straczynski and other people introduced it. I never really liked, I don't, I don't like the idea that Peter Parker was destined to be Spider-Man and then he's destined in every universe to be Spider-Man. I like that Peter Parker is just a guy. He's just a kid. Uh, who just ended up in, you know, fate delivered him, you know, these powers and he did the right thing with them or tries to do the right thing with them. And I, I like that where it's just kind of random. Um, so this whole spider totem thing, I don't really get into that much, but I understand it's an easy way to connect a shared movie universe, which is what they're trying to do at Sony. So I imagine, you know, them bringing in the spider and Ezekiel, they're going to probably try to bring in the spider totems which explains the other girls in the movie because we have a couple different spider women in this movie alongside Cassandra. And you also get to see them real briefly in their costumes in the trailer, which, you know, I was talking to my friend Gene about, and he was like, you know, I think they're not going to be in the costumes at all in the movie until the end. And I said, you're probably right because they're going to probably spend most of the movie setting the girls up and figuring out who they are and, and what they are and how they you know matter to the multiverse of spider totems or whatever. Um, and, and I think what they're going to do is focus on, Mary Parker, because uh, that's I think that's what we heard. And these are rumors, you know, so if they are spoilers and stuff, you know, I would say turn away now. Um, but these are just rumors at the moment, uh, but pretty strong rumors, which is that uh, Madam Webb might be her role might be to protect Mary Parker, who, if you don't know who that is, is Peter Parker's mother, um, you know, and then also that Uncle Ben, a younger Uncle Ben will be in the movie uh, played by Adam Scott. And then maybe Richard Parker at some point will be in the movie, which is Peter Parker's father. And we'll kind of see you know, them as they're together and possibly on the verge of having a child. Um, and you have Ezekiel who's trying to kill them. So it's almost like a Terminator story. And you have Cassandra, you know, uh, Madam Webb, who is getting these powers, learning how to use them and trying to stop Ezekiel. And I guess with other spider totems in Maddie Franklin, who is the, I think the early 2000s spider woman. And then you have Julia Carpenter, who was one of the original spider women. And then you also have Anya, who is goes by Aranya uh, in the comic books. And she's a, a more of a, she, I think she came in mid 2000s or something like that. So, or maybe like around that time. So, uh, so you got three different spider women here, uh, which is, which is neat. I, I, and again, I was like, oh, I don't know how this is going to work. Can they pull it off? But I think I agree with my friend, Gene. I think they're going to, you know, you're going to see Ezekiel in his evil Spider-Man costume, which I thought that was interesting too. Um, 
I think the costume looks kind of cool. I saw people online saying they didn't really like it that much, but I'm like, well, he's the Terminator in this movie, right? So he like, I like that he isn't just wearing the blue, you know, business suit that Ezekiel wears in the comics. There's a scene with him on the subway where he's wearing that and he's barefooted. Um, so that was a cool nod to the comics, but him in the evil spider suit, I think is kind of interesting that he's like an evil spider totem and he is, you know, he feels like his role is to stop all these other spider people from coming up and, and, and being created. And so Cassandra obviously is, has a greater role of multiverse vision and time vision and stuff that she's trying to fight for the good guys. Right. And she wants to rally to stop against these evil spider totems uh, like Ezekiel. So I don't know, we'll see more. They don't give us a ton of the plot to just kind of show off some of the powers. And, and like I said, I think I agree with my friend, Gene, I think you're going to see throughout the movie, you know, visions that from, you know, through Cassandra of the other girls in their spider costumes. And then at the end, they all get their costumes and there's just one big fight at the end. I could see that happening. Um, will that make for an interesting movie? We'll see. Um, I've seen people, you know, criticize that. My friend Gene is certainly critical of that. He's like, I hate when movies like don't do the costume all the way till the end. And I'm like, well, if you tell a compelling story, I don't mind that. And also keeps budget down and all this other stuff. But then again, yeah, you're going to see like a superhero movie. You want to see people in costumes. But I think that's the kind of the clever part about this in some way, even though the movie may not be clever and it may not work out well or, or be, you know, a good movie. But I think the clever thing is that they show in the trailer is that you do have someone in costume the whole time. You have the bad guy, which is really cool. So you have this like evil Spider-Man just moving through the movie like a Terminator trying to kill all these people. And then when he does and succeeds, they rewrite time and, and you know, try to get a do over. And uh, so you kind of get like a, a Terminator meets Groundhog's Day kind of thing. Um, and that could work. I mean, it's certainly an idea I wouldn't have thought of for Madam Web. But uh, because I was always thinking like Madam Web would be cool to do more like Tomb Raider-esque where you have a young girl who's going to be the new, t you know, the new Madam Web. And uh, and then you and she's like being led around by Cassandra looking for all these artifacts, these spider totem artifacts and stuff. And that's kind of how I thought the movie would be. And seeing this, I'm like, oh, OK, well, this is not anything like I thought it would be. And and I kind of am intrigued by that. Uh, so more so than I am of Craven, surprisingly, <laughs> and, uh, you know, to have a like radioactive lion blood go into your body or whatever they're doing in that movie. At least this, you know, the spider totem, I may not like it in the comics, but it could be a way to bring these movies together. And and Madam Web could be a, a, a good asset and vehicle to kind of connect these movies and stuff. So and then again, it could be another Morbius, <laughs> you know, and another Craven. We, we have no idea. Um, it just matters of what you think. So let me know what you think, because. I'm kind of intrigued by this. I thought the trailer was pretty good. I think the cast is good. Um, and I am I like Adam Scott, actually, uh, Emma Roberts. And I think uh, this movie has a really good cast. I mean, sure, maybe it doesn't look like it has a big budget, but that's okay if they're being smart with their budget in the movie and they try to make it character-based and make it hopefully interesting with good act acting. And, you know, and when they do action, you know, do some good action scenes, like the scene in the, you know, the diner where spider evil spider-man ezekiel stabs you know dakota like i was like oh wow holy cow okay so that's they're gonna have a violent killing spider-man <laughs> like that's something like that's uh i was i was surprised to see that and uh, and then her rewrite time and everything so i don't know I, i'm i'm curious and uh, and i'm curious what you guys think because uh i think i'm might be in the minority again on this one where i was intrigued but then i saw some other people on twitter you know, sharing their thoughts and saying like, hey, this actually doesn't look as bad as I thought a Madam Web movie would look. And that's a positive thing. I think that's something this movie has going for it. If they can get more people to think like that, they'll get more people in the theaters opening weekend. Um, but until then, you know, like they, they got to really, they got to really uh, be careful how they market this movie. Uh, you don't want to turn off one side of the audience uh, and you don't want to turn off the other side. You kind of want to walk this thin line uh, where it's like these four capable kick-ass women you know in this story leading the story um but uh but not feel like it's uh pushing like any major i guess agendas or whatever you know because i didn't get that when i watched this i was like wow this looks fun this looks like like i'm i'm a big fan of slingers and i would love to see slingers get made into a movie because i'm like hey there's four characters that are spider-man related but they're not spider-man and that would be cool to see the slingers in a movie and this kind of was like, oh, this almost feels like Slingers in a way where it's like you got this, you know, character who's going to unite these younger people together who all have powers and uh, and lead them, you know, forward into this big, you know, Spider-Man type world. I'm like, wow, that kind of reminds me of Slingers a little bit. So 
Yeah, I would, you know, I would love a Slingers movie one day. <laughs> Call me, Sony. I have a script. Um, but for this, though, I am I gotta say, I'm at least intrigued. And I, this trailer was enough to intrigue me. And that's a win for Sony. Because, like I said, the Morbius trailer didn't really win me over that much. Um, and then the Craven trailer definitely didn't win me over. So the fact that I'm at least intrigued is a good first step. So, you know, as long as they keep me intrigued... I might actually go see this movie in the theaters when it comes out. And it comes out in February, so we'll have some more videos about some of these characters coming up between now and then. I'll talk about them on the show. And if there's any character in this movie you want me to start with, let me know, and we'll do a little episode that's just about that character. And then I'll do, you know, a couple other ones. We'll do a, a Madam Web episode, you know, just to kind of get, uh, you know, a little bit of background on her. We'll get each of the girls would be cool to do an episode on them. And then obviously Ezekiel will get an episode on him. And then maybe we'll do one on Mary and Richard Parker. You know, if you guys are interested in that, we can talk about that too. I've talked enough, so let me know what you think of Madam Web down below, and we'll keep talking as always down there. Thanks for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.